Hey guys, I think we're are we have we got started yet? We have. All we're, right. Uh, we're trying uh, to everyone. Home. I don't think it started yet. Hold on. Okay. Just text me when it started. Everyone else, kind of be quiet. Hello, everyone. We will get started, and um, we'll get started in just two minutes. People are joining in right now. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll get started promptly. All right, everyone, thank you so much for uh, being on this call. Uh, I'm Mike Shook, uh, CEO of 5S Technologies. Um, uh, again, I appreciate you being on the call. The, the, our webinar today is kind of the State of the Union of Tentree by DDN. Um, what we plan to discuss is um, who DDN is, um, who 5S is, if we're new to you all. Um, we're going to take a look at um, the support structure and what that means to you today and then future roadmap. Um, we have everyone on listen mode. So if you do not mind, um, if you have questions, just, just put it in the chat link uh, below and we'll, we'll address any questions at that time. And you can also uh, uh, email um, josh.marler at 5stechnologies.com. Um, and you'll see his email at the at the end of the deck, and and he can field any questions that you may have and follow ups. So um, let's get started, um, Josh. If you can just get us on on the first page. So um, we'll start with 5S at a glance. Um, 5S was founded in 2014. Many of you guys might know um, we're founded by the founders of Strategic Technologies. Um, uh, which was founded in uh, 1988, sold off uh, strategic to some investment bankers, um, and started 5S Technologies. Our headquarters is in Raleigh. We really are enterprise storage architects. Um, we have three petabytes of Tentry sold. Um, we were the only Tentry Southeast VM stack partner, um, which means that from a 5S perspective, we've doubled down. Um, we did some um, back-end integration with a converged infrastructure that we called IntelliPod. So our engineering team has, for, since day one of us, uh, of, uh, since 2014, has been <laughs> working very hard with Tentry to um, develop a solid product that support that and install it. Um, so you've got a very capable um, uh, Tentry partner, um, largest reseller in the Southeast. Um, we're debt free and um, we have a call center, um, a 24-7, 365 call center. Um, we'll get a little bit into that um, uh, on how we can, how 5S can help support you um, in addition to some of the things that, um, that, that Tentry is doing. So um, with that said, um, that's a little bit who we are. Um, and we're going to jump in and let uh, Marty Murphy um, discuss DDN. Um, he is the VP of channels for DDN. Good morning, everyone. Um, thanks, Mike. So DDN, at a, and, and first of all, everyone, thank you for attending this, you know, jumping on this call. My, the, the title on the, on the slides is VP of Channels for DDN. I came over, I was at Tintree, and we'll get into this in a little bit, but tin, uh, DDN is going to treat Tintree, and Tintree will operate as a separate division within DDN. So I am, you know, 
legacy DD, uh, legacy tin tree, excuse me, and I'm running the channel for tin tree at DDN. So DDN, the parent company, uh, was founded in 1998. Their headquarters in Chatsworth. They're the world's largestly private held storage company, and their their niche or their 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 focus is on high performance computing. Uh, they're debt free. Uh, they're profitable, and uh, they're privately held. So so they will share their financials if if anyone would like to see them, any customers or prospects. Uh, but it w they will be doing it under NDA. So that's that's DDN at a glance. You go to the next slide, Josh. Please. And Marty. I yeah. Go, go ahead. Okay. So uh, bring everyone up to speed. On August 31st of this year, DDN completed the acquisition of Tintree for $60 million. Um, the first DDN's first order of business is to restart our support for our existing customers, our support organization. Uh, the product roadmap is going to continue, and we expect to, to release some updates within the next 90 days. But to get back to how we we plan to staff it, I mean, we they plan to have over 100 positions filled before the end of the year. There are multiple offers out now to former Tintree employees in the support organization and the engineering organization. And I think the next slide has the exact numbers as of September 15th, how many folks have been hired back. But we are in, you know, literally in the process of reconstituting the support, the part depots and, uh, and manufacturing. So. Thanks, Marty. Now we're going to bring on Steve Small, who's the director, Fourth Entry Director of Field Support and Engineering, just to kind of give the support roadmap. Um, Steve? Good morning, everybody. Um, I, some of you have met in the past. Uh, my name is Steve Small. I'm the director of Systems Engineering and Field Support for Tentry by DDN. A um, little bit of background. Prior to uh, Tintree for the last year and a half, I was the director of systems engineering for the Southeast and eventually the East and the federal um, team um, prior to the, the Chapter 11 incident. Um, I just returned to Tintree um, last week. So uh, I was recruited back to come build out and re, re, redo the uh, systems engineering team and help with the support organization as we start to rebuild this um, within DDN. So I'm super excited about it. There, you know, People have asked me why. Um, it's real simple. The product's solid. The product helps customers be successful. That's what I'm all about. So um, it's one of the reasons why I decided to come back and I can see only a win-win here. So with, with that being said, I wanted to just kind of give you guys a current roadmap. And, and keep in mind, um, this is 14 days old. I mean, up until December, um, sorry, August 31st, um, the acquisition of the assets had not been finalized. Uh, even up until that week prior, there was still questions of where this was going to end up. So. Within the last two weeks, um, DDN has done a stellar job in in getting people back on board and and kickstarting what we can do to to revitalize number one the support experience you you all are used to um, and trying to rebuild a, a bunch of the engineering capabilities. Um, so right now we're in the process. We have. Uh, seven level two, level one, level two, and level three support engineers in place. Um, we're revamping some of that process to make it more streamlined. Uh, we have 14 other outstanding um, offers on the table. We're bringing people in uh, every 
every day, every week. So I know there was another batch of people that came back this week. Um, we have some more uh, offers out and, and getting that rebuilt as quickly as possible. Um, so we've also completed the migration restart of our support and analytic platform. So if you go to your support portal, it does still work. Uh, you can still open a case that way. You can still call into the same support number. Um, we are working to get that as streamlined as possible, and we'll be adding more people to be able to pick up the, the calls. We're also working on um, fixing some of the call routing that was disrupted a little bit during this uh, transition phase. So that you'll see um, weekly, uh, weekly changes too. And I will continue to try to get information out to all of our customer base about where we're at with that. Um, so look forward to something coming out from a communication standpoint. The uh, manufacturing line has been brought back, brought back online this week. Um, they should be up and running completely by sometime next week because they're doing some, some internal stuff on their manufacturing line of moving some things around. So um, we should be back fully with full capabilities by the end of this week, early next week. So what does that mean Steve, for support? We're, Steve, we're going to jump in. We're going to jump into manufacturing and development in a minute. So um, right. Okay. So let's talk about what this, the impact to my support is. Right. Your existing support contracts will continue to be um, unaffected, and we will be. DDN has, has made the commitment that they were going to honor the existing support contracts. Right. So. Um, which, which in fact means our support systems are fully operational and we'll be working through that as we continue to restaff the support organization. Um, all the existing platforms are grandfathered in on support and they are available for renewals now. So we can, we can start working on renewals for anything that is, that is out of support. Uh, we're also in the process of restocking our, our parts depots. So, um, there is approximately, I think, 30 or 33 parts depots that we're in the process of restocking, uh, and we com we anticipate this is going to be completed by the end of September, right? Um, and then we're going to be working on an aggressive platform update, right? Right, with your input and with all the stuff that we've gotten from the past from our customer endpoint, we're going to continue to drive that forward. So we do have people that uh, have been with Tintree in the past that are going to be working on um, continuing to drive the roadmap forward. Give me the next slide, please. Hey, um, Josh, the next slide is 5S support. Just want to talk and see, uh, uh, I guess you can, you can kind of vouch how 5S can help in the short term and long term um, with support. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually have a 24-7, 365 call center. Um, we can do first call or escalation. Um, we have two TCSXs, which are Tentry Certified System Experts, supporting uh, our call center, um, and really just to help with first call resolution, to not have to um, send things necessarily to Tentry. Um, and also, we have um, the ability to work with backline support um, just through our relationship and our, our VM stack partnership. Um, so. Um, just a way that you can get, if, if there are some, we, we've heard for, from some of our customers um, that uh, there has been some slowness, some slow response, um, just a little different that sub two, sub, sub, uh, sub two, sub threes are email based. Um, we are actually a live call center. Someone's going to answer the phone. You're going to probably get one of our TC uh, SEs um, uh, on the first call. Um, and we're going to be able to help you um, in, in supporting your Tentry environment um, uh, quick. Um, so we're, for all of our customers and Tentry customers, um, there's no additional cost for that service. It really is just, again, you can call Tentry first call. You can call us. You can call us um, as an escalation point. Um, and for those who renew with 5S, 
um, the sensory support, um, we will provide that extra level of, of support. Um, we've got a call center and a, and a portal. Um, we were happy to take a look at your environment. There is, Steve will go over a bit. Um, there is um, some aging architecture, some, some uh, technology that is in the life um, and some technology that's in the support life. Um, and we're happy to do a free architecture upgrade assessment, look at your technology, and uh, figure out what is the right solution based on um, what is current product sets or future product sets on Tentry. And then we are also able to provide, uh, to help work with Tentry to provide uh, co term um, support quotes based on your needs. Um, so, um, Steve, anything else that you'd say about kind of our call center and Jamie and group that are that are on there to to kind of help while you guys are staffing up? Absolutely, I I think that it is a it is a um, it, Jamie and the team is outstanding engineers that can help most custom most situations uh, and most of the problems that you might run into. Uh, and then they can get to the support center level two, level three, if there's a code issue or something that needs to be done on the back end, they have direct access. Uh, they can also go directly through me to get things escalated. So uh, we have a great relationship with 5S. Um, they've been an outstanding partner for a long time and we are very tightly coupled so that if there's ever anything that the customer needs, we can try to escalate it as quickly as possible. Thanks a bunch, Steve. We'll go into the uh, manufacturing and development roadmap. Um, and I know you kind of touched on some of this, but maybe you can just speak to what you see of the vision and roadmap. Yeah, I, I think so. So let me just reiterate that we're we're coming back online with all of our manufacturing capabilities. So um, that, like I said, was able to be turned back up within two weeks, um, which is is pretty impressive. Um, and again, realize that it's a new DDN's a different company, so therefore we had to go back through with manufacturing and, and reset all of that with our with our manufacturing provider, right? So um, we're working right right now. They're working on looking at uh, a roadmap that they can put together so that there's something that will be available for the next 90 days. I can say that. Uh, in the conversations I've been in in the last um, 10 days, the uh, the leadership at DDN is is extremely aggressive about looking at how they can leverage what we've done so far with the Tintry platform and and their insight into where technology is going. Things like NVM, MEM, etc. I think their their capabilities within the HPC space, uh, they're, a, they're a visionary and a leader there. Um, as you start to bring some of that insight into, you know, our operational efficiency for the virtual environment and what we do within our platform um, will be really interesting. And some of the things that have been, you know, some of the things that are just starting to be discussed are, um, exactly in line of where we've heard from the customers better analytics um more things that can can increase performance and density uh, those are the kind of conversations that are going on right now so that that is very much in the forefront with um during this acquisition of driving where this company is going to be going and where this division is going to be going um if you go to the next slide i think you'll see there you go that the platforms are still there right all the platforms that you all have, have seen um we're going to be able to to deliver on those platforms those platforms are still very viable we can get those manufactured all the software is there the support is there um to be able to support those platforms this is a quick breakdown as a reminder of what's out there um uh, we'll be looking at new platforms Probably within, uh, I would say, sometime in the next year, I'm sure we'll be delivering a brand new platform uh, as we start to work through that that aspect. Um, 
And on top of that, if you go to the next slide, uh, you'll see we just yeah, the next slide, Josh. So if you if you look at some of the stuff that was just released in in the 4.4 release, um, you know, which was just released in May, uh, you know, we've we've already done a lot of new things that I don't know if everybody has looked at or has looked at upgrading to, um, you know, things like flex drive expansion where you can add in single drives, right? Uh, remote management of the EC platforms and the C1000 platforms, some of the enhancements on the synchronous replication, uh, the fact that we can now do a cloud connector into a, uh, AWS and IBM's cloud object store, um, used to be called CleverSafe, and things that we've done in the service group quotas, uh, quota arena, right, to be able to um, configure capacity limits, right, so that we can actually do a little bit more without having a full-blown orchestration platform in place to be able to limit some of the quotas, right? The big one, one of the big ones, offload data transfer um, for VM scale, right? It it allows you to vMotion things ten times faster because we're we're not we're going. Um, VM store to VM store, and we're not going back through your um, virtual machine, right? And finally, 30-day evaluation license uh, capability. So we still will be able to do that, where you'll be able to get software that you have not, that you'd like to uh, test and, and work with for, a, for an eval um, directly off of um, a creating a uh, support case, right? And the support case will generate, well, actually you can go into the system and then the system will generate an eval key right out of the support system. So, um, you know, these are some of the things that we just released. Again, there's also some bug fixes in 4.4.3.2 that um, you might want to look at. I will say that it was probably the most stable release we had we had done in quite some time, um, which was kind of apropos. Um, but it is um, most of the people have been running on it, and the data that we had up until a couple months ago were was outstanding on the uh, stability of it. So, um, and next slide. Go ahead. And one thing, and and one thing to note. Um, that uh, if you looked at the product set, some of you folks have older boxes. Um, the 820 is no longer being manufactured, so that is uh, end of life, but not end of support life. It can still be supported. Right. And the 500 series boxes, they are actually end of life and end of support life, so they won't have parts in the part depots for those 500 uh, series boxes. So that's something um, just to think about as you're as as you're getting your arms around, hey, what does this tentry thing mean? I know that everyone has. Um, thank you guys, the, the folks that have held on and because because they love the platform. Just to kind of see um, what what next steps are. Um, you know, I was with um, the tentry and DDN executives at VMworld um, the the day of the um, announcement by the courts. And um, they couldn't be more excited. We couldn't be more excited. The Tentry team, I mean, folks like Steve and Marty are actually coming back um, because they really believe in the product. And I think um, the biggest thing that we hear is our customers really believe in the product. Um, uh, and several of 5S's Tentry customers are on this call. Some Tentry customers that aren't 5S customers are on this call. But at the end of the day, what, what, what we know is we're hearing positive things and we have heard positive things like, what do I do? Um, I, it's just such low latency and easy management. How, how uh, you know, what, what is our backup strategy? And, and so we, we couldn't have better news. Um, our relationship, 5S's relationship, so you have a local face and someone to call that knows people to call all the way to the executives at BDN and the president of Pentry right now and, and Steve and Marty. Um, we are really built in, uh, and they're very thankful that we've taken the reins in the Southeast Territory um, to support them, have stayed loyal to them, and and just know that, um, so there are a couple of things. Um, the 500 series boxes are not 
um, supported anymore and will not be manufactured anymore. And the 820 boxes are not manufactured anymore. Um, so um, if you'll go to the uh, roadshow meet and greet, Josh, um, and we're going to open it up with questions. If you guys can, uh, any anyone who has any questions can put them in the um, chat line. Um, that would be great. Um, but what we're doing is we're doing a series, uh, a roadshow series and meet and greet um, just to introduce the 10 tree team, the 5S team uh, to folks um, across the Carolinas. Uh, so it's a real quick session. The idea is um, come meet us. Um, it's a floating time between 4.30 and 7. Come meet us. We'll give you dinner for four to take home to your family. Uh, but, but really just want to, you to meet the team, the sales team, the channels, and, and meet our team and technical team. Um, so on Monday, October 1st, we're going to be in Greenville, South Carolina at Sidewall uh, Pizza Company in downtown Greenville. Uh, on Tuesday, we'll be in Charlotte at Maggiano's. Uh, on Wednesday, we'll be in Burlington at Mellow Mushroom. Uh, on Thursday, um, we'll be in Raleigh, um, and it's the uh, Carolina Hurricanes home opener. So um, we have a suite for the home opener, um, and would love for you, anyone who is a Tentry customer, um, our Tentry prospect customer, or uh, it, we, we, we would love for, to have you at the game. Just um, let us know. We're going to actually send out a registration link. It has all, all these together on it. Um, or you can email Josh Marler um, uh, at, at the email right there. Um, again, the idea is for you guys just to meet the new uh, Tentry team if you've not met them before um, and to ask any questions you may have tough or are um are, are friendly we're, we're we're we'll be there to field them um and then finally if you go to the last slide and again we'll open up for questions um this is everyone's um cell phone numbers so you have direct contact for us um again marty runs channels steve runs field support and engineering um josh runs marketing for 5s um and and if you'd like if you also uh, i would say if you have um josh's email address josh.marler at 5stechnologies.com. We are happy to give you our support number um, and um, our, our support email address um, so we can help you out kind of immediately for any support issues that you may have. Um, Josh can get you all that information. Um, so um, if, if there's, uh, let's field any questions that you may have. Um, uh, unfortunately, I can't see them come through. So Josh, uh, Marty, or Steve, I don't know if you can see the questions, if there are any. Well, while we're waiting on questions, I also want to add in, I know that hopefully, I live in Raleigh, North Carolina myself, and I know we just went through a pretty, pretty horrendous storm. I hope everybody on the call and your families are all safe. Um, I've been watching a lot of the news. I've been hearing a lot of things. So um, if anybody needs any help on any of that, give us a holler. <laughs> See what we can do to help out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, if there, Josh, are there any additional questions? There are not. Well, if there's no questions, um, you know, we committed to 30 minutes. Um, uh, please join one of the road shows. Josh will be sending that out. We'd love to meet you. Uh, we'd love to say thank you for, for being patient with Pentry 5S. Um, as, as things got ironed out, um, we appreciate you um, as customers. And uh, we are looking, I think, um, I talked to a customer the other day that said, you know, we really like this stuff. We just need to we, you need to earn our trust back. And so these road shows are step one, phase one of us earning that trust back. Um, not only 5S, but Tentry earning that trust back. And um, what I do know that Steve and I have talked about is, you know, Steve plans to provide updates on the status of everything that he announced today. Um, we'll make you kind of the first group that gets that. Um, the status of, okay, where are we now with our support center? Is our uh, parts depots, are they, are they stocked now? Um, and I don't know when Steve will be sending that out, but I think you will see communication from him 
um, uh, kind of where you can measure, hey, what we said we're going to do versus how this uh, how this is getting rolled out because uh, we want to be held accountable, earn your trust, um, so we can build our relationships just like uh, where we left off a couple months ago. Steve, Marty, I don't know if you have anything else um, to kind of wrap it up. No, Mike, this is Marty. No, I don't. I just thank everyone for attending, and um, I look forward to the opportunity to re, you know, re reestablish the relationship and rebuild the trust with you guys. Yeah, and I and I second that. I mean, and like like Mike said, I'm working currently on and building out a, a basically a dashboard that I'll be sending out on a scheduled basis to let people know our customer base know where we're at in the rebuild. Um, it's to Mike's point, you know, being able to show our our movement forward is is going to be how we rebuild our tr their trust with us. So. We will be uh, we'll look for that coming in the next couple of weeks. Thanks, everyone. Hope to see you on the road shows uh, in a few weeks. Take care. Bye bye.